if you cannot cook for yourself and a few friends, in a perfect world, if you were not able to prepare a few basic dishes for the people in your dorm, your lover, your partner, your friends, if called upon to do so, if you can't make an omelet in the morning or at least scrambled eggs, if you're that hopeless, yeah, you should feel ashamed of that. <laughs> Wow, this looks amazing. What is it? It's stir-fried pork with a sweet and spicy sauce. It smells delicious. What's in the side dishes? We have some kimchi, which is a staple in Korean cuisine. And there's also stir-fried spinach, pickled garlic, chili, and seaweed. Mmm, it's all so good. What's this red lettuce for? That's for wrapping the pork. It's called sam in Korean. You put the meat and some rice in the lettuce and wrap it up like a burrito. Oh, that's so cool. And what's this soup? That's an ox bone soup. It's mild in flavor, but very nutritious. I'm so impressed. You really went all out. Thank you so much for this amazing meal. It was my pleasure. I'm glad you enjoyed it. On Valentine's Day, I treated my American friend to a Korean meal for dinner. The main dish was stir-fried pork with rice, mixed with vegetables and served in a cast iron pan to keep it warm. The side dishes included kimchi, stir-fried spinach, pickled garlic, chili and seaweed. I also prepared red lettuce so we could wrap the stir-fried pork and an ox bone soup with a mild flavor. My friend was surprised and complimented me throughout the evening, saying that the dinner was delicious and enjoyable. She asked me many questions about the Korean food, but unfortunately, I couldn't capture the moment on camera. So today, I recorded myself preparing the Korean meal again. <laughs>